such a strange and amusing place. One day you buy him rocket ship underpants, and then the next they're in outer space. Okay, The Greatest. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? You know, I thought it was a film that had a whole lot going on in it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously the, the overriding theme of the whole thing are, are the, is centers around this family whose teenage son was, was killed in a car accident. Right. And, um, and then three months later, while they're still very much grieving, sure. His girlfriend shows up at their house. But the thing is, she's not really his girlfriend. No, they don't even. The really parents don't even know who a, she is. Right. So she shows up three months later, and she's pregnant. So she moves in with them while they're still grieving for their son, and it's a very interesting dynamic that takes place there. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine the circumstances in, in in my own, you know, just kind of thinking if I were in that situation, what how would I feel? Right. It would be very complicated. I mean, and it was. I mean, yeah, I think you know, Susan Sarandon plays the mom, and she was clearly having a very difficult time with all different things going on, all of the different things going on in, well, in She was just life. immersed in her grief. Yeah. And the father was trying to be strong. He, he actually reached out to the girl more than mm -hmm. the other members of the family and stuff. But I think also one of the interesting things is the, the sibling dynamic mm -hmm. that was left behind because right. there was a, also a, a, a brother. brother. Yeah. And and he was he was kind of the the, the bad child and the, the son that was killed was the, the good the child. Good I child. mean, you know, you always have He the, was the greatest. He yeah. was right. And he was the one that was the, the overachiever and the homecoming king yeah, and all, that all stuff. of the stuff. And you have this other sibling who's then left behind and he's struggling. He was struggling before yeah, he his was brother struggling passed with away. drugs and that type of thing. So I think if we took like a survey of every American family, I think that you'd find a lot of families that are very similar to this one before the son dies in the car crash. Mm -hmm. You've got kind of a mom who seems to be kind of in her own little world, kind of doing her own thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And you've got the, you know, a kid who's an overachiever. You've got the younger brother who's kind of rebelling against that. You know, he's, he's, I can't live up to my brother, so I'm going to go the opposite direction. And you've got the husband who's carrying on an affair because, you know, he's not getting the attention or whatever from his wife. He, he well, truly he's loves kind her. Of dis, he's, dis he's pulled out. Everybody's kind of pulled, pulled out and, and unplugged from the family. Right. And then this girl comes in. She chose to be there because she didn't know. She was in love with this boy, but she didn't know anything about him. Yeah. So she chose to be there sort of to kind of know where her baby was coming from, like who she these people to were. Get to know the so family, she kind yeah. of spied. Like she went and collected things from his bedroom and mm -hmm. took, you know, collected information about him, that, like silly things like how big his yeah. shoe was. She was trying to put together his story because right. he she had, had to tell it to her baby. He did not have the opportunity to tell her right. because their relationship was so new. Mm -hmm. um, and what I saw was that, you know, here you've got a family that I think could, you know, before the accident might be kind of common, mm -hmm. you know, that everybody's kind of unplugged doing their own thing. And then you have this catastrophe happen that changes right. everything. And then you throw this on top of it. And depending on how you look at it, it's either like, you know, salt in the wound, insult injury, whatever you want to call it, or it's the one flower in, you know, the dump. Mm -hmm. Right. Of what's going on. And she's the only thing there. Everybody's grieving so hard that she's the only thing that represents life and hope. Right. And, and, and not that she was trying to do this, but she ultimately is the magnet that kind of pulls Pull the family them all together. back together. Mm -hmm. Whereas in a lot of situations, if this were to happen to a family, the family would fall apart. Usually, I mean, I, divorce, I divorce whatever. or whatever, yeah. you know, the family wouldn't survive. The family unit. But I think that they were lucky that she came into their lives because she is what the polarizing thing in the family that had them come back together. Right. Anyway, it's going to be in movies. The movie houses limited release April 2nd mm -hmm. and then nationwide release April 9th called The Greatest, okay. starring Pierce Brosnan, Susan Sarandon, and Carrie Mulligan. It's fantastic. Yeah. Bring your tissues, though. So good. I knew this boy. We would pass each other every day after school in the exact same spot. And sometimes it would be so intense 
that we would start looking at each other from the very beginning of the steps. And on the last day of school, he talked to me. Hey! And everything was happening exactly the way it was supposed to. And I was the happiest I've ever been. He was everything I imagined he would be. And I was in love with him. That this amazing young man who was so well loved was surrounded by everything that was beautiful to him. three months pregnant. I just can't believe she has nowhere else to go. Are you really pregnant? Yeah. That figures. One bad thing my brother does, he's not even here to get in trouble for it. <laughs> Did you dye our son's hair blue? Yes. You know, when I went to the morgue, I thought they got the wrong boy because our son would never dye his hair blue. And then I saw his face, and it was our son. It was like he died twice. That's enough. You haven't made the slightest effort to get to know this girl. I don't want to get to know her. Why can't you understand that? It should have been her that died that night. It should have been her. Look, it's not all about you and your grief, Grace. There are people in our lives who deserve our attention. Did you not get a chance to see the body? No. My mom came in to get me, and I couldn't even move. So I didn't get to say goodbye. Do you think it might just be easier if you talked about him with Grace? You've been a good husband and a good father. Do you want to feel? No. He always kicks when he hears your voice. I'm fine. Please. It's strong. I think he was the love of my life. Why would you say if someone asked you about this night? <laughs> I would say that this was the greatest.